Lucy's been in captivity here in Edmonton since 1977. She was captured from the wilds of Sri Lanka in 1975. She came to this city at the age of two. Elephants in their natural type of habitats are boisterous, they're social, they're active. As opposed to Lucy, who is a very withdrawn, sad elephant who you can clearly see is in pain. She very rarely vocalizes, and of course, why would she? She doesn't have another elephant that she can speak with. Lucy's Edmonton Advocates Project is a grassroots group of citizens who are animal lovers and have an informed interest in elephant welfare. And today we're at City Hall here in Edmonton for our 29th visit. Up until now, they refused to allow us to speak. And so we attend the City Hall public hearings in the hopes that they will one day put Lucy on the agenda so that we can talk about options for her future. In zoos, we see that animals are used more as a commodity and as a form of entertainment. Yeah, there are people. Give her a big round of applause for showing us its teeth. A way to bring in revenue. In sanctuaries, it has nothing to do with that. They don't sell tickets for spectators to come in and view the animals. The animals are just allowed to be themselves, to be elephants, to do what elephants do. The difference between Lucy and the sanctuary elephants and the many wild elephants I've seen is definitely her, her demeanor and of course her ability to ambulate. Lucy walks uh, very slowly. She walks as if she's a hundred year old elephant. In the sanctuary that I volunteer at, there are numerous elephants there over the ages of 70 and there's even an elephant approaching the age of 100. And it's really remarkable to see how well they get around and sad to realize that these elephants that are twice Lucy's age could run circles around her. They're happy elephants. They play and frolic in the mud. They trumpet, they rumble, they squeak. And a sign that an elephant is happy is when their trunks are up. And if you observe Lucy, you'll note that very rarely is her trunk ever up. I would describe Lucy's situation as extremely urgent. She stands on hard substrate uh, much of her time. That is one of the reasons that zoo elephants do die prematurely. So it's imperative that Lucy be moved to sanctuary as soon as possible. We believe there is hope for Lucy. As long as she's still breathing, there is a chance to get her to sanctuary. The Edmonton Valley Zoo has some new administration and they've opened up to us and uh, we're having conversations with the zoo right now about bringing in new experts to examine Lucy and again looking at the possibility of transferring her to sanctuary. People are really starting to recognize that holding animals captive for our entertainment is not something we should be doing. I think the future is bright for our children and their children and we will see a shift. We've already seen that with places like SeaWorld and I think we'll continue to see that. I believe in general the numbers of people visiting zoos are declining and we're seeing the elimination uh, of many circuses. So The young people and the children are the hope for the future for our animals.